of the church, and especially the people on the board and the candidacy panels, and the collegium called the ECP roster. And on behalf of the board, the staff, the donors and volunteers of Lutheran Lesbian and Gay Ministries, we present for ordination to the Holy Ministry of Word and Sacrament, Megan Marie Rohr, who has been prepared, examined, and certified for this ministry, and who has been called by the church to the office of pastor. Thanks be to God. In the twinkling of goddess's eye, and according to apostolic usage, you are now to be set apart to the office of word and sacrament in what we pursue to be the one holy Catholic Church by the laying on of hands and by prayer. And again, Jesus says, peace be with you. As God has sent me, even so I send you. Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. And again, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. St. Paul writes, I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink of it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. <clears throat> Before Almighty God, to whom you must give account, and in the presence of, this, of these congregations, we ask, will you assume this office, believing that the church's call is God's call to the ministry of word and sacrament? I will, and I ask God to help me. The church in which you are to be ordained confesses that the Holy Scriptures are the word of God and are the norm of its faith and life. We accept, teach, and confess the Apostles, the Nicene, and the Athanasian creeds. We also acknowledge the Lutheran confessions and true witnesses and faithful exposition of the Holy Scriptures. Will you therefore preach and teach in accordance with the Holy Scriptures and these creeds and confessions? I will, and I ask Goddess to help me. Will you be diligent in your study of the Holy Scriptures and use it in your use of the means of grace? Will you pray for God's people, nourishing them with the Word and Holy Sacraments, and lead them by your own example in faithful service and holy living? I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you give faithful witness in the world that God's love may be known in all that you do? I will, and I ask God to help me. Almighty God, as, who has given you the will to do these things, graciously give you the strength and compassion to perform them. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people of God and for Christ Jesus for all people according to their needs. <laughs> Loving God, you have assured us that each of us is, has been made in your own image. We give you thanks for this gift of sacred life and for your unconditional love. God
God in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Today we gather in joy for a time of festive and holy celebration. May our time together provide nourishment for each of us. May we receive gifts of love and caring from each other that we might share with others not here today that which we have so generously been given. God is in your mercy. On this special day, O oh God, we ask your continued blessing and guidance from Megan Moore, whom you have called to a special ministry of word and sacrament. She answered yes to your call over and over again and continued on her path to ministry despite the many obstacles placed before her by those who did not recognize her sacred calling. We give you thanks that she is a woman who would not accept no for an answer and continue to seek out those who would affirm the yes of her call. God is in your mercy. We give thanks for the welcome ministry and the congregations who stepped out and made Megan's ordination today possible, promising financial, spiritual, and communal support for her as she serves in a much-needed ministry in this city. May the partnership of Megan, the Welcome Ministry, and these congregations bring the gospel of Christ in tangible ways to so many who do not yet know of your love for them. God in your mercy. We ask that the witness proclaimed this day extend to those who continue to say no to other pastors and seminarians who will not disown their wholeness as a criterion for their ministry. Open the eyes of those in authority who continue to ignore or reject the gifts of these many who are saying yes to the call you have given them. Let our witness be one of hope that the blind shall see and that doors closed be opened. God is in your mercy. Amen. Oh God, we know that there are so many thousands, even millions living on this earth, who are hurting so deeply because of war, famine, disease, rejection, and the emptiness of hopelessness. We know, but we cannot comprehend, the extent of human suffering so far away, but also so close to us as we go about our daily lives. Forgive us our unwillingness to do all we can to bring an end to the suffering of others. Help us see more clearly what there is that each of us can do to make a difference for those who live lives of pain and despair. God is in your mercy.
serving the people and remembering Christ's promise. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your soul, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. Care for God's people, bear their burdens, and not betray their confidence. So it is upon yourself in life and teaching that you preserve the truth, giving no occasion for false security or illusory hope. Witness faithfully in word and deed to all people. Give and receive comfort as you serve within the church. And be of good courage, for God has called you out, and your labor in the Lord is not in vain. assembled as the people of God, and speaking for the whole church, receive Megan Marie Rohr as a servant of Christ to serve God's people with the gospel of hope and salvation. Will you regard her as a servant of Christ? We will. Will you pray for Megan, help and honor Megan for the sake of Megan's work and in all things serve to live together in the peace and wholeness of goddess. We will. Let it be acclaimed that Megan Marie Rohr is ordained a minister in this, the Church of Christ. She has Christ's authority to preach the word and administer the sacraments serving God's people. Amen. Thanks be to God. Church to install Megan Marie Rohr, our co-worker in the gospel as pastor. We now ask for certification of Megan's call. We of Ebenezer, Christ Church, St. Francis, and St. Mary and Martha, after prayerful deliberation, have elected Megan Marie Rohr to be pastor, and we present Megan and this letter certifying the call. <laughs> Pastor Rohr, in the presence of this congregation, you commit yourself to this new trust and responsibility. I do, and I ask Goddess to help me. Let us pray. Merciful God, everything, everything in heaven and earth belongs to you. We joyfully release what you have entrusted to us. May these gifts be signs of our whole lives to turn to you, dedicated to healing and unity of all creation, through Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of God be with you always. And also with you. Please share the sign of God's peace with one another. It is indeed right and salutary that we should at all times and in all places offer thanks and praise to you, O Lord, Holy Mother, through Christ our Lord, who on this day overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection 
Open to us the way of everlasting life. And so with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Please join with me in praying the Lord's Prayer. You are invited to use the words and language that stirs your heart, resting on the faith of the saints who have gone before us, remembering the power of the Holy Spirit who moves all our tongues to make a joyful noise. Our Father, Father who is the Lord of heaven, hallowed be thy name. gifts of Christ's body and blood strengthen, keep, and unite us now and forever. Amen. We give you thanks, Almighty Goddess, that you have refreshed us with the healing power of this gift of life, and we pray that in your mercy you would strengthen us through this gift, in faith toward you, and in fervent love toward one another. Amen. May Goddess bless you and keep you. May Goddess's face shine on you and be gracious to you. May Goddess look upon you with favor and give you peace.
to be ministers of your reconciliation, love, hope, and justice. Keep us steadfast in your commitment to serve all creation and to become your kingdom. Amen. Amen.